Paris never ceases to amaze me about how romantic it can be. And I love the city for all of that and so much more. And today I wanted to share with you a few little hidden spots to create an itinerary that's almost free. This museum is fantastic because it is free and you can spend as little or as much time as you want here. The paintings are fantastic, but there's sculptures and ceramics, all sorts of things. And this was a private collection owned by uh, Ernest Cognac and his wife, Marie-Louise J. This painting right here, I have to say, oh my goodness, when you look at it, her eyes follow you. It's a stunning mansion. And the collection was donated upon his death in 1920 in 1928. It's free except for the temporary spaces and it's open every day except for Monday. I would allocate maybe about 45 minutes to an hour to see all these amazing things in here. Um, and you know, there's no joke, there's like 1200 unique pieces in here. Even artwork by Rembrandt, Crow, Cezanne, Dega. Uh, it's just an absolutely stunning way to spend an afternoon. And after that, you can kind of, you know, if you don't really want to spend a lot of time here, you can leave and move on to the next place that I'm going to share with you. So this next spot is called Musée de la Vie Romantique. <laughs> it is so romantic. It reminds me of Giverny and Monet's house. This is an 1830 Hotel Particulier. It's like a mansion. And it was also donated over to Paris, the city of Paris. And I got to meet with my girlfriend, Mimi. And Mimi owns um, Belle Inspiration and Joie de Vivre Network. And here she is tucked around the corner. I get to have tea with her. You can come and see this museum as well for free. Uh, the permanent collections are free. Their temporary exhibits are paid. And you can come out here and have tea and sit, maybe have a light lunch. That atelier right there is where you purchase your tea and cakes. It's really inexpensive and it is a beautiful way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> Now, the museum is really close to Montmartre, which is a district in Paris that is very famous. And a lot of people that are going to Paris for the first time and for many years to come will always want to come to Montmartre. There's Sacre Coeur, and here are some of the candles inside the church. Uh, you know, one thing that I do notice is that people tend to stick on this side where the church is at and Place du Tête, where you have all of the uh, fun artists doing uh, portraits of people. But I would suggest that you continue over onto the other side of the hill because Montmartre is a hill. So be prepared, wear comfortable shoes, be prepared for all the stairs and steps. But this, you have amazing homes and quiet little alleys without any tourists um, tucked away on the back side of Montmartre. And it's just so fun to see these stunning homes that are still all completely intact. There's still single homes, people are living in them. And it's just such a fun and free romantic way to spend your afternoon. And of course, there is no trip, no perfect day, incomplete without a walk along the river Seine. Uh, it is such a calm and <laughs> look at Pearl. She, she did not want to go on a walk at that moment, but you know, it is such a beautiful way to end any day in Paris. So I hope you enjoyed this brief itinerary and I wish you bon voyage and a beautiful day and beautiful trip to France.